Okay, so good day everyone. This is a recorded uh, discussion for the fourth quarter general biology number two. So today we're going to discuss module number two uh, entitled Reproductive Strategies of Plants and Animals. Okay, but before that, let's know the objectives of our discussion. So at the end of our lesson, you are expected to first compare the reproductive strategies used by various organisms. Secondly, you will identify the important structure of the representative organs and infer the advantages and disadvantages of the two types of reproductions. Okay, so here are some terminologies that you should be familiarized uh, during our discussion. First word is the gametes. So gametes is an organism reproductive cells. Okay? So they are also referred as the sex cells. In female, the gametes is known as the ova or egg, egg cells. And the male gametes are called sperm cells. Uh, the word mitosis is a process of wherein the cell, single cell, divides into identical daughter cells. So it is a type of cell division that produces two identical daughter cells for our body cells. Um, next word is uh, meiosis. Okay. Other than mitosis, we have the meiosis, which is a process of uh, producing four daughter uh, four daughter cells and those four daughter cells have unique uh, genetic information so we have meiosis one and meiosis two if you still remember our previous uh, discussion in general biology we've already discussed those two type of cell division namely meiosis and mitosis and we have the word offspring. So offspring is the product of the reproductive processes of an animal or plant. So offspring are produced when the sperm, the meats or the sperm cells fertilizes the egg cells. And we have the word asexual. So asexual reproduction is the result in a new organism formed by, by, by mitotic cell division, producing an offspring that are genetically genetically similar to their parents. So commonly it is done by some uh, microscopic bacteria. And we have the sexual reproduction. So this is the counterpart of the asexual, wherein it involves the fusion of the gametes or the sex cells, namely the sperm and the egg cells from two parents or then a uh, male and female parent, which are produced through meiosis. So the sexual reproduction uses uh, by some animals such as human for their uh, for them to reproduce an offspring. Right? So what really is a reproduction? So reproduction uh, is a process wherein an organism or a per, uh, species reproduce to continue the chain of life. So they pass down their genetic information from, uh, from parent to offspring, which are acquired over millennia. So the reproduction is essentially a process by which an individual produces new individual. It could be uh, in animal, plants, or in bacteria. So in terms of a eukaryotic cell, they produce commonly sa animal kingdom, no? Uh, they produce uh, genetically unique new individual. Unlike the prokaryotic or such as the bacteria, they produce the identical, okay? So reproduction is a very important process for the existence of life here on Earth. So without the process of reproduction, the population of its, its species will not prosper. So we have different types of reproduction. So asexual reproduction, uh, it is a result in a new organism formed uh, only by the mitotic cell division. So they produce uh, identical, two identical daughter cells. 
and uh, sexual reproduction naman, it involves the fusion. So, or the fertilization of sperm and uh, fertilization of the egg cells using the sperm cells. So, they produces uh, a zygote in that process. Okay? So, so sexual reproduction, uh, the gametes are formed through meiosis. Okay, so now let's discuss what really is a sexual reproduction and mitosis. So this process is happen, uh, happen in a single cell organism. In other words, they are simple animals. Okay, so simple animals such as bacteria or microscopic organism. Uh, mitosis is also their form of reproduction. In this process, they doesn't require fusion of their gametes, okay? So they doesn't uh, prioritize the uh, variety or difference of their genetics. So their purpose is to reproduce an offspring. So it doesn't require a fusion of the mice or sex cells in order to produce an offspring. Instead, they simply clone themselves to create their identical daughter cell, or known as the process of cloning. So commonly, bacteria produce uh, reproduce their daughter cells equally or identical to their genetic information. So it, Multicellular organism, uh, they can also, or they are also capable of reproducing through a sexual reproduction. Okay, so as you can see here on our PowerPoint, this is an example of a uh, mitosis wherein the uh, genetic information of the parent cell is divided into two to create an identical two daughter cells. And in other animals, uh, we have different way on how they reproduce asexually. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have four different types of asexual reproduction. So namely, fission, fragmentation, budding, and vegetative reproduction. So let's discuss them one by one. Uh, first is the fission. Okay. From the word itself, fission, it is the process of dividing okay, into two. Fission occurs when a parent cell splits into two identical daughter cells of the same size. So, for example, this is a parasitic amoeba. So, the parent amoeba will just elongate its nucleus that contains the genetic material. So, once it is the nucleus has been elongated, it will divide into two so the amoeba will form two daughter cells identical to their parent cells okay and the second one is the fragmentation so this process is uh different from the fission because the pro the parts of a uh, parent cells or the parent organism is uh, use for them to create new organisms. So here in the process of fragmentation, uh, it occurs when a parent breaks into fragment or pieces. So those fragments will develop into a new organism, such as this uh, video clip. So as you can see, when the starfish are split into different pieces, those fragments will have a second organism. So that is the fragmentation. Why? Uh, because each, uh, each part or each arm of the starfish are capable of uh, producing new cells to create a uh, different organism or to form its own body. Okay, so at the end, they will produce a two starfish. Okay, so the third one is the budding. Okay. Budding is a sexual reproduction that occurs when a parent cell forms a bubble-like bud. Okay. So as you can see here on our PowerPoint, this is the bud. Okay. So the bud stays attached to the parent cell while it grows and develops. 
So once the bag has been fully developed, it is the time for it to detach uh, itself from their parent and then uh, create a new organism or the new daughter uh, organism. So here is the process of uh, sexual reproduction budding of a hydra. Okay, so this video clip shows how the hydra uh, reproduce through body. Okay, so this is uh, the parent hydra and this is the new hydra. Once the hydra are fully developed, it will just detach itself to their parent. Okay, so here is the a summary of our asexual reproduction in animals. So we have the binary fission. So another example for binary fission is the flatworm or the flatty helminthes. When we uh, cut them into two, they will become uh, two new organisms. Here in the body, it is a process of producing a bud, and that bud will develop to a uh, young hydra or young uh, organism for them to detach and create new organisms. So here in fragmentation, the means of their asexual reproduction is the pieces or fragments of their parent uh, organism. And lastly is the vegetative propagation. So this is an asexual reproduction within plants. Okay? So it occurs when new individuals are formed without the process or the production of seed or spores. We all know the use of spores or seed in the plants is asexual because the pollen is the male part and then the ova or the egg of the uh, or the seed of a plant is the female. So how can a plant reproduce asexually? through vegetative propagation. So it is a process wherein they form new plants out of a rhizomes or stolons. So they uh, might use some stem, okay, uh, reproductive roots for them to create new plants. Okay, some other plants uses a bulbs, okay, such as potato. So here on our PowerPoint, it shows the strawberries okay so strawberries are uh, they use as the asexual reproduction which is the vegetative reproduction for them to create new uh, plants or new strawberries okay so now let's proceed to the sexual reproduction and meiosis okay so meiosis consists of two rounds of cell division namely meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 so what is the difference? Uh, what is the difference? If you will recall, here in meiosis one, uh, under the propase one, uh, the crossing over or the exchange of the chromosome of the daughter cells or the chromosomes of a gametes are the exchange for the uh, genetic diversity. Okay, now mostly in animals. So the daughter cells of meiosis are called germ cells, and these germ cells will be developed into gametes. Okay, so here uh, in egg, it is described as the female gametes, uh, and it is usually large and non motile Okay, so this is the egg, and sperm or the male the meats or sex cells is generally smaller and motile. So why it is motile? Because the sperm needs to swim toward us. The sperm needs to swim from the vagina cervix into uterus until the fallopian tube for them to fertilize or for one sperm to fertilize an egg. So here in the formation or the reproduction of a gamete, the needs of a female, it is known to be the process of oogenesis. And the process and the formation of sperm is the spermatogenesis. Okay, 
So the sexual reproduction gives the offspring half of the maternal traits and half of the paternal traits, thus creating a unique organism. So here in the production of uh, production, the production of the egg cells, uh, they contain as well as the sperm cells, they contain 43, uh, 23 chromosomes. Okay, so they contain 23 chromosomes, which is known to be haploid. So once the sperm fertilizes the egg, so the 23 will con uh, 23 chromosomes from the sperm will combine to the 23 chromosomes of the egg, and then they will create a 46 uh, diploid chromosomes which created the cycle. So that is the process of sexual reproduction under the meiosis, okay? Okay, so the offspring or the zygote, okay, contain a, a unique genetic information, 50% from the mother and 50% from the father. Okay, so I hope you still follow our discussion. So now let's proceed uh, to the parts and function of the uh, reproductive organ of a male for the formation of their genetics. Okay, so as you can see, here are the uh, reproductive organ involved in the male reprodu uh reproductive system. So we have here the scrotum, testes, epididymis. Uh, we have the seminal vesicles. Okay. We have the vas deferens, urethra, and penis. Okay. So also the sperm is the uh, uh, sperm is the sex cells of a male. So the sperm cells are produced in this seminiferous tubule within the testes. And the testes can be found outside the abdominal cavity of a human male. So this testes is uh, covered with a scrotum. Okay, so <clears throat> the testes and scrotum can be found outside of the abdominal cavity because it needs to keep a lower temperature or several degree lower than the normal body temperature for them to create a functional sperm. Okay, so uh, very sensitive yung pag-produce ng sperm because uh, changes in temperature can affect the uh, functional or yung structure morphology ng isang sperm. And then the... Uh, human uh, or the male it produces every day no? every day it produces 100 million of sperms okay in the testes so it is uh the once the sperm is created it passes into the epididymis okay so the dance is uh uh let's say dito siya may store sa epididymis and then this part of the male reproductive system is a uh, part wherein they mature completely. So kapag nag-mature na ang sperm cell, yan, dadaan po siya dito for the uh, release or yung tinatawag natin ejaculation. So dadaan po siya okay, dito sa ating okay, so it will release, the sperm will be released in the process of ejaculation and then it will pass through the vas deferens. During the process of ejaculation, seminal vesicle will release fluids. Okay, so what are those fluids? Fluids uh, that helps the sperm survive in female reproductive organ during the intercourse. So the seminal fluid passes through the urethra and then uh, goes through the Penis. So those are the parts and some essential functions of the male reproductive organ. Now let's proceed to female reproductive organ. So here is the illustration 
of a female reproductive organ. And on the other hand, we have the egg. Okay, this is the egg cells of a female. Okay, we have here the ovary, fimbrae, fallopian tube. We have the uterus. And this is the cervical canal. We have the cervix. Okay. Uh, ligament of ovary. Uh, ito naman po yun. We have the endometrium and then the vagina. Okay, so let's discuss. The female reproductive system is uh, comprised with two ovaries, but not uh, unlike male, they do not produce egg every day. Actually, either of the two ovaries releases egg each month, okay? Through the uh, ovulation, okay? So the mature egg or ovulated egg meets and fertilized by the sperm in the fallopian tube. So once the egg has been matured, it will be released in the ovary and the fembrae will catches it and then helps to, and then it will travel to the fallopian tube. So the fertilization takes place in the uh, fallopian tube. Okay. And then what will happen? This, uh, once the sperm fertilizes the egg, uh, it creates a zygote. Okay, so the zygote now have the 46 chromosomes, which is the diploid, uh, unique from their parent because uh, 23 from the mother and 23 from the father. So the zygote then passes to the uterus for the nourishment and embryonic development so they will at uh, the egg or the zygote will attach here at the uterus okay so this will serve as the source or it created for the nutrition and development so the lower portion of the reproductive uh, reproductive tract which are the vagina uh, that serve as the passage of sperm during the copulation and the birth during a uh, birth canal, okay? So the birth canal during the child birth, naman, okay? So those are the parts and function of female reproductive organ, okay? So many organisms can reproduce sexually as well as asexually, okay? So they have a choice such as the aphids, slime molds, sea anemones, and some species uh, of starfish. Uh, those are organisms that can uh, have or chose or portrays the asexual and sexual reproduction. Okay? So that's the end for our week number two. So if you have a question, you can chat me on our GC, okay? So that's all, thank you and goodbye.